Paul, you're the headmaster then, so standing here looking at the TV crew and your yeah, students, etc, etc, et what are you feeling? Very excited, very excited at the end of a project which has involved so many young people in, in really getting uh, an insight into engineering. Obviously the end result being flying the plane today is, is, is the culmination of many, many hours of hard work and co camaraderie. I think the students get an awful lot of air, out of working with the older, more experienced uh, volunteers who've really given them the kind of leadership and in some cases the kind of role models and, and father figures that they don't have at home so I think it's quite important that that, that aspect of what they do is, is recognised. Well power to your elbow boy because you took this project on it's not something that every school does. No, no. Does it fit into the national curriculum or have you had to go outside the national um, curriculum? Or clearly what? I mean it's an extracurricular activity so the guys do it in their time their own time so students attend the club after school clearly everything they do within the um, building of it the working together part of it builds a better student we're, we're trying to produce students that aren't just about the national curriculum we're trying to build students have resilience to have ability to work in teams to work with other people that aren't their peers nowadays the national curriculum can if we're not careful um, narrow down opportunities for students I'm, I'm a big fan of making sure students have wider experiences and this is certainly a best example I've seen of a, a wider experience to give students um, a real insight into the real world. It is a real world project yeah. yes and talking to your students now it's fantastic um, how diverse the skills that they've picked up along the way uh, has been the, the way they reel them off. So where do we go from here? Well we've now got an, an empty building that was and is customised to build aeroplanes in the moment I have no use for that particular building other than to keep it safe for now. Um, obviously I'm going to be talking to Stuart before he leaves us at Christmas to, to, to kind of his retirement to talk about whether or not we could look at another project related to um, engineering and whether or not we could look at um, a smaller version or a version of the same thing to happen again. Obviously it won't be supported by Boeing but I'm sure we've got some plans or possibilities to go forward. Do you have good links with local industry? Do you think you um, could pull in sponsorship from yeah, local? Yeah, I mean, I guess the local the local industry, Jaguar, the MOOC, the other all big organisations, local just have a lot of people asking that same question. And I guess what we'd have to do is be something unique. And I think on the back of what we've done here, we've probably got a particularly unique selling point in, in asking for a continued project or a sponsorship project further going forward. Lovely. So the next thing is to design your own aeroplane. Yeah, wow, it? gosh, yes. <laughs> I'm sure behind me I have many budding um, designers. Um, I'm not sure that I'd be as say I, I don't think it'd necessarily be as uh, air ready as this one is right now. But I'm sure that our uh, team behind us would be more than capable of working out how to design. Well done. Congratulations on everything, and thank you for your time yeah, today and over you. the last several years no, that you've been doing this. Thank you, and mainly down to Stuart Blakemore in terms of his involvement in what's gone on. He's been brilliant. I, I must admit.